Viewer discretion is advised. everyone and welcome back to another episode of three geeks flicks this is the tech flying solo and i have a quick reaction to the official black panther trailer that dropped today which is october 16th 2017 um now we saw a little tease before and it looks good and the trailer was all right and i i didn't do a reaction to it and we didn't uh, trailer break it or anything like that but this one to sit back and enjoy a, one of the things I have to say, visually, it, it is spot on. It's amazing. I love what they're doing with the, uh, you know, super advanced technology city that they have and everything going on. Um, it has some of the African tribal feel uh, blended into the new age, uh, kind of futuristic look to it. That's awesome. I, I think visually this this movie looks gorgeous. And, uh, you know, Marvel, Disney, they've got the money. They've got the time to put into it. Um, with this trailer, of course, we see Chadwick Boseman as T'Challa, the Black Panther, Andy Xerxes back as Ulysses Claw, or Claw, um, Michael B. Jordan, we could see a little more of him as Killmonger, so interesting to see, and especially that he's got uh, another suit, and I don't know if that's necessarily a panther, or um, if that's going like more or less a jaguar, there's a little bit of a yellow tint to parts of it take it for whatever it's worth at face value just kind of a first look the epic and timeless angela bassett is uh ramonda his mother to Chalice, and it's it's great to see her in it i know um tyrone magnus was talking about in his reaction that a lot of people he would have liked to have seen her as storm um so yeah i, I mean i could have seen her in that and i understand why they went a different route but um it's great to see her finally getting into some of the comic movies, some of these heavy hitters, these classic and timeless stars. Forrest Whitaker's in this movie, though we haven't seen him. Uh, of course, uh, Martin um, Martin Freeman um, is back, of course, as uh, Everett K. Ross. Uh, I'm having to look up at the screen to double-check names because, quite frankly, I know he's been in the movies. It's the Civil War and everything, but, you know, I can't quite get his name to memory just yet. Um, and moving along... Folks, this has got Lupita Nyong'o. Now, she, up-and-comer, already award-winning, um, fantastic actress. Love to see that she's able to do more. Hopefully, she'll she'll get to branch out more outside of the uh, the Disney movie verse because, of course, she's uh, Maz Kanata in Star Wars uh, Episode Seven. I believe that she's coming back in eight, though. Don't quote me. I'm not sure. Uh, otherwise, looking back at this trailer and not getting sidetracked like I was. You know, this trailer didn't do a lot of things wrong. The only thing that it's a gripe of mine is the stereotypical music they would put. Now, don't get mad at me because I love this movie's idea. I, I love to see the Black Panther brought into the universe. I want to see his story. I'm, I'm, I'm totally hooked. I'm totally interested. But the trailer, one of the things that was flawed in it was the music. Okay, and and I, I get tired of seeing the stereotype. Every time somebody does like a black movie or an African American movie, it feels like that they have to get stereotypical with the rap and somebody in the background going, uh, uh. you know, yeah, okay, I'm an old white guy, whatever it is. But still, even Tyro Magnus said on his YouTube show when he was reacting, that was one of his gripes as well. And he had a great idea in saying, you know, why couldn't they have put an epic score behind it with, like, some African tribal feel to it with the, with the drums and everything? I think, quite frankly, that would have hit home more. That would have really sold it more um, and maybe mixed it with a little bit of the New Age. But, you know, if you're going to do music and you're going to do source music in ways, have it actually be a song and not just somebody in the background grunting and moaning, quite frankly. I think you're doing uh, an injustice to a movie and a trailer and a genre quite frankly when you go that route and I know this is probably going to be a little polarizing a little thought provocative but I want this to do well and I feel like that they need to stay away from those things and simply make this movie just 
awesome in all forms and all aspects because quite frankly I'd love to see more of what I was watching right there um, otherwise my overall number for it I'm gonna give the trailer an 8.5 music didn't quite hold up for me uh, though the visuals um, some hard-hitting actors in there uh, you know award-winning actors uh, I have no doubts that that's going to go off flawlessly as far as all that goes the action looks amazing so 8.5 from the tech other than that, check us out on Facebook, 3 Geeks Flicks. Give us a like, comment, holler, troll us. You don't do Facebook, we've got Twitter. It's at the number 3 Geeks Flicks. Flicks is, of course, spelled F L I X. So give us a follow there, give us a holler there. Troll there, get involved. You are the third geek, folks. Get on YouTube, give us a like, leave us some comments, subscribe, share the word, share the love. Let us know you're out there. We want to have folks like you on the show, give you all a voice. And quite frankly, I really would love to hear back from more of you all because I just. There's only so much of the muse that I can take. You're not that good, I've got to bring somebody in to keep the guy off balance. I mean, I already start the show without him knowing to give him anxiety. Why not bring in somebody else to help me out with that? Right, stop that. But Silly. anyways, appreciate y'all sticking around and stay tuned with the glow of those monitors because we're going to catch you next time. Good night.